To get this custom size sheet made, there are a number of things I'll need. Most importantly, a sewing machine. I want to use a fitted sheet rather than a regular one because then I've already got some elastic that I can recycle from that and put into my own. In addition to this, I'll also need some thread, some pins, an unpicker, some scissors, and a framing square. Now it's starting to get dark, so I'm gonna head back, have a coffee, and then we can get on with the project. And if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe below. To make the sheet, I first needed to cut it down to size. I removed the elastic off camera. The measurements I used are as follows. Switch out the mattress dimensions for your own if you want to follow along at home. Grab some paper and draw a rectangle that represents the length and width of your mattress plus 10 millimeters. For each edge, add the thickness of the mattress plus how far you want the sheet to fold underneath plus 20 millimeters for seam allowance. Here's the equation to find the width of the sheet. You need to take the mattress width plus 10 millimeters and add on two times the thickness, fold, and seam allowance. So that's 960 plus 476, which comes to a total of 1,436 millimeters. It's far easier to cut the corners out of a rectangle than it is to try and draw the pattern directly onto your fabric. Here you can see me marking the start and end points for the elastic. I'd recommend putting it about 35 centimeters from the end of each long edge. Next, fold and pin the adjacent edges of each corner. You'll be stitching these 15 millimeters from the edge. If your machine has no seam gauge, apply some tape at the correct distance from the needle. Invert the sheet, then for each corner, flatten along the seam and pin. This time run a stitch five millimeters from the edge. It's now time to create the seam through which the elastic will run. For one centimeter wide elastic, mark the sheet 14 millimeters and 40 millimeters in from the edge. Fold to each point and pin. For this stitch, stay within two millimeters of the folded edge so that there is ample space for the elastic. Almost done now. Feed the elastic through the seam and secure each end with a safety pin. Alternatively, stitch some scraps that are larger than the seam opening to each end of the elastic. Now do a test fit. Put the sheet onto the mattress to check the fit. If it's too loose, shorten the elastic. When you're satisfied, replace the safety pins with several back and forth stitches for additional strength. Lastly, complete the seam on the edges between the elastic. Now you should be just about ready to go. All you gotta do is get the sheet on and then maybe start thinking about how the hell you're gonna make a custom sized duvet, duvet cover and mattress topper. But that's all stuff for another time. 
Um, one other thing, because I didn't upload for like two months after Christmas, um, a lot of you might not have seen my previous video on how I made these mattress covers. I'll stick it on a card in the top right of your screen here, uh, and if you like, you can have a watch of it after. All right, I'll see you next time.